The Mullin National Park is to be listed as an international safari destination, making it the second such facility in West Africa behind Burkina Faso. This was disclosed by an expert from the International Union for the Conservation of Nature in Accra. The Mole National Park is the largest wildlife refuge in Greenland Savanna in the northern region of Ghana, with rainfall rate of over 1,000 millimeters per year. The Mole Riparian Ecosystems lands at an elevation of 150 meters were set aside as a wildlife refuge in 1958. Residents in the area were relocated in 1971 and the lands converted into a national park. The park has until recently not seen any major development as a tourist destination since its original designation. The Mole Park serves as a study area for scientists because of the relatively undisturbed site. The Mole Park has a population of over 800 resident elephants, over 90 different species of mammals, 300 species of birds, 9 amphibians, 30 reptiles and about 56 endemic butterfly species. Significant mammals include leopards, hyena, buffaloes and run antelopes among other animal species. These and recent infrastructural developments bring the Mole National Park closer to a world-class safari standard and attracting over 17,000 tourists annually. For Mole, they have uh, proposed a listing based on three nomination criteria. The superlative natural beauty and the existing ongoing ecological processes as well as having natural species which have been protected. Chief Executive Officer of the Forestry Commission, Samuel Afari Date, is delighted over the new development. Because that also becomes a value added to what we already have. And more importantly, it's a value that you do not have to achieve by destroying any flora or fauna. The findings of the expert group is expected to be published in the first quarter of 2017.